In this demonstration, I will show how Ansible can be used to refresh multiple non-production Oracle databases from production in only a few minutes. My Ansible playbook utilizes standard Linux and pure storage Ansible modules to automate the entire end-to-end -end database cloning process. In my browser, I have an Ansible AWX session. On the right, I have six terminal windows, each showing the server name, the Oracle database SMON process, and the Oracle database mount points. The playbook begins by dynamically creating and copying SQL and Linux scripts to the target database servers. The Ansible playbook then performs a storage snapshot of the production database volumes. We then shut down the target Oracle databases unmount the database file systems and refresh the target database volumes for the newly created source snapshot. The target database file systems are then remounted and the Oracle clone is started on the target database servers. As you can see, the database has started with the production name. The Ansible playbook will now rename the database, data files and directories.